So hi Adnan, nice to finally meet you. I hosted you back in February. Yeah. And yeah, March, uh, you March. guys invited me, so I'm here. And I love yeah. your hospitality, like you guys. I hope it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a, it's a return. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, 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 when no, we no. came we're, to Pisa, uh, you were, we're hospitable, like, so it was yeah. a, a, an obligation <laughs> to us to be hospitable for so you. So yes, I made I made made sure that I. I force you guys to return, and they return in the best possible way. I could do nothing for them because I'm at a university, and I couldn't even let them in my room. But but I let your luggage in my room. Yeah, at least <laughs> that is the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. So uh, I took them to of course Piazza di Miracoli and Maria. Yeah, uh, we could you, do the cooking for you, but you could uh, uh, yeah, you yeah. took us to the some of the best uh, Marina di Pisa Beach and uh, the and you love that you loved yeah. even. Us because we can go there anytime. Yeah. So yeah, I love Bologna too, especially the university. I think it is. It, it, it is deservedly number one university, and it should be one of the most beautiful universities. So yes, the most asked question about Emilia Romagna. Mm -hmm. Correct. Emilia Romagna is it? Yeah. Just tell us which university is it covers besides. Uh, in the uh, Emilia Romagna region, uh, the most dominant university is the Unibo itself. Okay, because it has uh, I think four or five campuses. It's Bologna, it's uh, Cesena, it's uh, in Forli, Ravenna, and Rimini. It has five campuses, so all of them are in within the Emilia Romagna region. And besides that, there is a University of Modena. Uh, just try uh, about 50 kilometers from here, and some one or two other private universities are like uh, uh, there is a, a, a John something. I don't know. So I always get uh, like curious about this that uh, is the division on the basis of departments. Like some departments are not in Bologna, and there is a Vienna, maybe or other countries, or some students of the same degree. Can, can like top 30 first 30 admission i don't know no 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 it depends it depends for example uh, if you have to do offshore engineering you cannot do here you can do it only in the ravenna campus because it is situated on the beach okay so this is uh, these are not the departments these are separate campuses Okay, individual universities but they have the degree of uh, university of bologna the departments are in the city. For example, this is the civil engineering department. Right here is the MI department, in the oh, okay. industrial okay. chemistry department. There is a chemical engineering department and humanities department. So many departments, like 15 or 16 departments in Bologna. More than so. so yes, uh, finally I got. <laughs> so yes, Adnan, tell us about Ergo because you have that personal experience, and uh, there are many prospective Unibo students of course you must also uh, I know you receive a lot of messages and all that so let's do it once and for all yeah uh, I wanted to do this because uh, even for uh, not for it no it's not only difficult for us to reply to every single yeah, messages yeah. but it's also uh, difficult for people who are asking because yeah, yeah. they have to ask each Thing separately yeah. so I want yeah. to cover all of the things related to Ergo scholarship in this sole video yeah yeah, yeah. okay so and then uh, if someone has specific questions we can answer them too. Obviously. okay so Ergo scholarship is a regional based scholarship for the Emilia Romagna region that is composed of the same cities uh, wherever the Unibo campuses are and there are few other cities small cities Okay, so coming to the point, the Ergo Scholarship is a regional scholarship and it is a need-based scholarship. So most of the students confuse it that do we have to have a good CGPA, do we have to have blah 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 blah. <laughs> you no. don't need to have anything You except, don't even have to upload your transcript. <laughs> yeah, except you just need to prove that you have a low income. and. Its value is 15,000 euros per year. Okay, if your annual income is less than 15,000 euros, then you are eligible for the scholarship. But uh, it depends uh, on the basis of your financial situation that is called EASE. 
I S double E. In Italian, it is called EZ. So, on the basis of your uh, financial or economic situation, uh, they uh, make a ranking list, and uh, some benefits like the ergo residences they depend on your ranking in that list. But the scholarship amount that is almost uh, 5,400 rupee uh, euros that uh, is for everyone that applies and that is eligible for application okay, okay. so coming to the uh, coming to how to apply uh, first of all you have to get admission at the university then you go to the ergo website okay er-go.it okay there you fill in the forms that are uh, there are four or five forms uh, two of them are most important that is that uh, dati personali and uh, dati economici okay that uh, dati personali is your personal data you have to fill in like you did during your application and the that data uh, uh, that economy uh, we will make a separate video on the complete process with where only the application process will be included okay so for this you don't need any additional documents only an affidavit stating your income that will you take uh, that so will, talking about the income certificate yeah only affidavit here in bologna only affidavit is required no property certificate no any other thing just a low income and, certificate but MOFA, MOFA doesn't to attest yeah I mean, it does not need to be attested uh, because uh, it is even easier than other scholarships i mean bsu and yeah because for them uh, you have to uh, <laughs> you really stress yourself out <laughs> in order to yeah. uh, get these documents but uh, uh, for Bologna, it is better to have that low income certificate from FBR mm. uh, in case of Pakistan. <laughs> okay. And uh, this document, this FBR document, low income certificate, this along with your uh, family registration certificate attested from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and your copy of your passport. Uh, these documents uh, you will send to the embassy uh, to the uh, Pakistani consulate in Milan okay so there are few ways to do it so we uh, we have to send it in Milan we cannot send it in like Rome in Pakistan embassy no you cannot uh, send Why it because only Milan? because uh, like in Pakistan the embassy covers the Punjab and KPK province yeah, yeah. while the consulate deals with the Balochistan and Sindh province mm. similarly the Rome deals the southern part okay, of Italy okay, and okay. the Milan deals with the northern and central but, part yeah yeah okay got it, okay got it, got it. 